government says it will not proceed with the proposal to increase stamp duty on properties worth more than a million ringgit. This is contrary to what was announced in Budget 2017, where rates would increase from 3% to 4% on transfer instruments or Form 14A. Currently, the rates are 1% for properties worth up to 100,000, 2% for 101,000 to 500,000, and 3% for properties worth more than 501,000. The move was originally seen as an attempt to curb the oversupply of luxury properties in Malaysia. Royal Malaysian Customs has slapped West Port's holdings Bahad with an almost 60 million ringgit bill. In a bursa filing, the port operator said its subsidiary West Port's Malaysia Sendem Bahad had received several bills of demand for the period between July 17th and September 29th, saying that the demand included inter alia time barred assessments for the years 2008 to 2011, import duty remittance for purchases of equipment, and the GST for purchases made after April 2015. West Port said that it had been in talks with Customs and the Ministry of Finance about about the matter, but had received an unfavourable decision on December 19th. It adds that an appeal is being processed to facilitate the convergence towards an amicable settlement. Westport said, however, that this development is not expected to have a material impact based on its net assets. Masing Group Bahad is targeting to increase its land bank in the Klang Valley from 66% of its total land bank to 75%. Its Group MD Tan Sri Long Hai Kam says that to date, Masing has acquired two parcels of land in the Klang Valley and a piece in Bukit Mertajam in Penang. He explains that Masing currently has a remaining land bank of 2,131 acres with remaining GDV and unbuilt sales of 28.3 billion as at end November, adding that the group is also open to good JVs and investment opportunities. Masing will also continue to develop affordable housing in strategic locations with price points below 500,000. On the outlook for 2018, Leong says that he agrees with Radar's optimistic view for the first half of next year in line with the improving economy. Malaysia and Singapore have jointly called for the highly anticipated tender to appoint the assets company for the KL Singapore High Speed Rail. The assets co will be responsible for designing, building, financing and maintaining the rolling stock and the rail assets. In a joint statement, My HSR Cops and Yumbra Hud and SGHSR Private Limited said that a tender briefing would be held on January 23rd next year. The two said that the tender aims to identify an assets co that will provide a solution that prioritizes safety and security, availability and reliability, proven technology, operations flexibility, customer centric design, value for money, and collaborative project implementation with My HSR and SGHSR. The two are aiming to select a qualified bidder by the end of next year. Malaysia and Maldives have inked four memorandums of understanding to strengthen cooperation between the two countries. PM Datuk Sri Najib Raza and Maldives President Abdullah Yamin Abdul Gayum witnessed the signings. The four MOUs were for cooperation in the field of firefighting and rescue training, health, establishment of the Maldives Cultural Centre and higher education. Najib is currently in Maldives for a two-day official visit. Malaysia and Maldives have had substantive relations in various fields ranging from education to tourism. The countries established bilateral relations 49 years ago.